Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Elisabetta, a watercolor artist with a passion for art supplies. Uh, and today I'm unboxing and swatching my latest purchase from Della Magna Watercolor. These uh, watercolors are handmade by Luca, who's passionate of historic pigments. That's why many of these pigments are historic or rare behind each of these pigments there is always a story and uh, you can read uh, all these uh, stories about the pigments on his website uh, della magna watercolor which has an english version too let's open it this paper is called uh, carta di firenze in italian florence paper paper from Florence and you see the lilies are the symbols of Florence and uh, it, it is used for uh, uh, drawers I used it for um, for my books when I was in school it's very nice a sturdy paper very resistant and very elegant I like it so much wow these are the watercolors watercolor um, handmade watercolors entirely handmade with historic precious pigments as i said it's a half pan set thank you luca because he gave me this uh, tin box that i didn't purchase oh uh, this is wonderful a wax uh, seal with uh, the the his logo and this is uh, what i purchased and I will add uh, the, these colors that I bought uh, previously that uh, I haven't uh, swatched yet. So we'll swatch them together. Let's dive in and let's swatch them right now. As you see, these uh, half pan are hand uh, wrapped and there is a, a handmade swatch on each of them which give you a real idea what the color will look like i have put them in order and uh, i will swatch them now right i have placed my half pounds uh, in this uh, lovely lovely tin box that uh, luca from the la magna sent me thank you luca I made a mistake, I put cobalt violet uh, in the wrong place here in my swatching card, uh, but here is in the right place between red and blue, so I must pay attention to respect this order. And let's start swatching. I think I will spray them. Quite excited to swatch them. I will use my Unico Infinito brush, which is my favorite brush for swatches. Okay, let's start from uh, Steel de Grain, which is uh, buckthorn berries, I think in English. Steel de Grain is a French word and it's actually juice extracted from the unripe berries of this plant, buckthorn and it has many historic pigments. It's not very light fast. Uh, copper turquoise left some color. But because it's a beautiful uh, greenish yellow, uh, it might be nice to have, although we know it's not very light fast. But look at how vibrant it is. It goes such a long way because you know, the La Magna colors are so pigmented from what I have tried. I have tried some already, but this is a color that I really wanted to try because I like historic pigments. The second color is uh, a color that um, really makes me curious because it's quinacridon orange. It's not PO48 quinacridone burnt orange, a discontinued pigment. This is quinacridone orange, PO47, and it is um, 
an extinct uh, pigment not available and it's a dark orange very transparent very light fast like most quinacridone colors is very beautiful and this is PO47 gorgeous incredibly pigmented a nice uh, pigment to have if you are a collector like me the third pigment is a modern pigment is PR144 and it's a vibrant primary red it's a medium red very transparent beautiful quite light fast seven out of eight it's called Medici because you know the Medicis, Medici were the family ruling over Florence and they were patrons of um, arts. That's why um, it's called Medici Red because it reminds of the Renaissance Red uh, during the Medici government. You know that the La Magna watercolor I made in Florence. You might have visited Florence, I hope. Then I have French Ultramarine, so I'll skip one in my palette. And it's PB29, very light fast, a very lovely warm Ultramarine. I put this arrow because um, Cobalt Violet Deep is here, but in my palette is between red and blue. Great flow on paper, these colors from the La Magna, great flow. And French ultramarine should have a very nice natural granulation. The La Magna don't have uh, super granulating colors because they're quite uh, orthodox and purist. They have single pigments colors, historic. Uh, and I think that uh, they're very faithful to their mission, which is uh, bringing to artists that are passionate about pigments, rare historic pigments. This is NB1 Natural Blue 1. It's extracted from this Indian plant, uh, which is uh, called, uh, this plant is called Indigofera tinctoria and was used uh, since uh, antiquity to dye fabrics. Uh, it's very dark blue. It's like our denim, uh, you know, the denim fades, so this is not completely light fast. It's six out of eight, but it's beautiful and pure indigo. Most indigos that you find are multi-pigment combination. I have never seen a multi-pigment paint from the La Magna. They're all single pigments, which is great. Then we have Cobalt Turquoise, PG50. Cobalt turquoise has many blue, um, very difficult to capture on camera. Although in the website it mentioned PB28, but this is PG50, so it's a teal and it's very beautiful, very light, fast, like most cobalt colors, slightly granulating. I like the soft granulation of naturally granulating colors maybe more than the super granulating colors that are so trendy now. I think that a soft granulation is, can be really pleasant. This is softly granulating, this cobalt turquoise. PG50, beautiful teal. You can, I hope you can understand how saturated these colors are and how extraordinary is the flow on paper. Incredible, all of them. Then I have cobalt green deep. And this is uh, PG26. This should be also granulating. And it's idea for painting, for instance, 
faraway forest because of its granulation and it's a dark cobalt green very beautiful i really like it this slight granulation is wonderful perfectly light fast eight out of eight the flown paper is incredible I have cobalt violet deep cobalt violet is one of my favorite violets i always use the one from rembrandt it's a low tinting violet usually this is quite bluish for being a cobalt violet should have a slight granulation it's very light fast very beautiful pv14 it is a bluish version i think that uh, other brands like rembrandt has a have a more reddish version wonderfully granulating these cobalt colors the cobalt green and the cobalt violet have a very lovely granulation then I have what he calls sap green and it's actually PG8, which is a wonderful green that I have seen used only by White Knights and Rosa Gallery. I think Roman Schmann has a PG8 too. It's a wonderful deep green but it's not so light fast. Uh, Luca says uh, seven out of eight, uh, but I think uh, slightly more fugitive than that, but I trust him. So if he says it's seven out of eight, means it's somehow fugitive, but still a good light fastness. Then a color that I'm very curious about because it's Goethe, Goethe, in English maybe Goethe, a very nice uh, light brown that I have tried uh, by in a version by Roman Schmal and also by Daniel Smith. It would be interesting to compare those three maybe in different video. And it's a wonderful mineral, wonderful mineral pigment. The pigment is not available because it's actually, it's not pigment, it's a mineral. Goethite, Goethite genuine, very light fast. Very beautiful. It's a warm uh, light brown, a warm ochre. Slightly remind me of spinel brown by Schminke, but this is really beautiful. And despite being a mineral pigment, it's the flown paper is extraordinary. Very nice, very lovely feeling on paper. Then genuine, genuine red jasper. I'm not sure how to pronounce the word genuine, maybe genuine. Also not available here because it's a mineral, jasper diaspora in Italian and it's lovely earthy red look at this not so pigmented being a mineral color compared to pigments but beautiful very organic beautiful slight granulation at least while wet, we'll see when it dries. So then a color that I think he wanted me to try because it's a present by Luca, a color that he's very proud of, and it's natural magnetite. Magnetite, magnetite is in Italian, is a color that is naturally very rich in iron. Actually, um, I think that uh, you can move it with the uh, magnet because of its very high content in uh, iron. 
and um, it's very how can I say it there is a strong flocculation I think you see it's not easy to have a smooth wash huh? because it naturally granulates and flocculates uh, and it's absolutely beautiful I can't wait to see it dry then I will swatch uh, the colors that I had bought before the first one is a color that I have already swatched in a previous video and it's genuine quinacridone gold a wonderful color very rare because it's uh, out of uh, production look at how beautiful it is pure 49 quinacridone gold it's the genuine genuine i'm not sure oh such a deep gold and it's wonderful wonderful color uh, i'm in awe of this color it's incredible and it's often out of stock but um, it comes back so maybe you can apply for his uh, newsletter and they send you an alert when it's available and the second one is natural hematite red which is pr102 natural red iron oxide very opaque. It's like a Venetian red or an English red. But look at the color variation that it gets. It goes from purple to red. Try to wash it down a little. And look at the accent that it gets, very dark, almost black. It's a wonderful red for desert rocks. Wonderful, wonderful. It goes from black to almost black to red and it separates and flocculates. Uh, such a fascinating color. Very opaque in mustone and it dilutes in lovely um, granules. Look at this. We let this dry and we'll try the advanced swatching, a sketch. Okay, for a, a quick sketch or advanced swatching, I will use this um, Caddy papers sketchbook that I have been using lately is only 100 GSM. What, usually, watercolor paper should be 300 GSM, but it's uh, very budget friendly. It has, I don't know, a lot of paper for very nice price, and I think that um, it takes watercolor very, very well. So, for my advanced swatching, I think I will. Uh, draw some popsicles that are ideal to understand uh, the behavior on paper. You know that in my sketches here, the are not tutorials. If you want to see my art, you can go on Instagram. Here are sketches just to see how a paint behaves in a credible, realistic uh, environment like sketching. So now I will speed it up and I will see you later.
Well, 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 now my colors are dry and uh, I can't wait to draw my final conclusions because these colors are obviously wonderful. They, I have three cobalt colors that are incredibly pigmented and uh, these two, the cobalt green deep and the cobalt violet deep, they should be heavily granulating and they are heavily granulating. The Steel de Grain is uh, Buxton Berries. Steel de Grain Genuine is uh, a wonderful uh, greenish yellow. I have an equivalent uh, multi pigment uh, version by Senelier, which is also very beautiful. But this is the original historic pigment. Very, very, very lovely. Um, for painting botanical, for instance. Uh, the quinacridone orange is uh, PO47. It's interesting, but uh, maybe it's the one that I like uh, less of all these uh, pigments because it's a bit dull. I prefer the PO48 version, but it's interesting because it's an extinct um, uh, pigment. So if you are a collector, it's nice to have in your collection. This red is very beautiful, very beautiful, uh, kind of uh, antique, vintage uh, red, medium red, French ultramarine, wonderful, granulating, warm, pigmented. The indigo, it's not very light fast because uh, it's declared, but uh, it's single pigment indigo, which is unusual. Cobalt Cobalt colors already talked. The sap green is not what I really mean by sap green, but it's a single pigment. It's a pigment that I like very, very much. Uh, it's so versatile, this uh, color. I used a lot my Rosa Gallery version and my White Night version, but um, it's not very light fast, but it's very interesting, both straight from the palette and mixed. The Gothita is incredibly beautiful. It has a very lovely flocculation. It's so organic, it's a wonderful color. The red jasper is also slightly granulating, a very interesting uh, mineral color with a organic earthy red. And this magnetite, look at this, look at the natural granulation, it's so intense. It's better than mouse black, I think, if you want a granulating black. The queen gold is beyond description is wonderful genuine pinacron gold and the natural hematite red i love this um, range of values from almost black to pink that uh, you get with the one single pigment so i'm so happy i have this palette it's um, an incredible quality i think that uh, it's a completely underrated at the moment uh, Manufacturer. Actually, there are quite a few estimators around, both in Italy and abroad, but uh, it's not as uh, popular and marketing oriented in, as uh, a Gallo. But I don't think that the quality is inferior. By the way, I don't know personally Luca, but I can tell you he's so nice and gentle, such a nice person. So it's a pleasure. I we had a. Um, I had a problem with the deliveries and he was so nice and available to solve the problem. So I can't really thank him enough. But above all, these colors are really wonderful. I, I think that I still need to complete my collection of, of the La Magna with uh, some brown uh, and it's full of beautiful colors, especially the earth pigments he has some ochres, yellow ochres, he has colors that are really unbelievable, unbelievable beauty. Some are very expensive. He has a lapis lazuli that I have been watching for a while. So let's see the sketch. Okay, this is my quick sketch. Uh, as I said, uh, these uh, type of uh, sketches are just uh, a way to evaluate the behavior on paper and I think that when you have um, extraordinary quality paint even with a, a sketch almost uh, childish like this one you can still uh, have a 
very lovely result, very pleasant to the eye. And in this case, I think that um, it came out lovely. And you can really see that um, the quality of uh, this sketch, the pleasantness, only comes from the quality of paint. I think that the La Magna watercolor is uh, definitely in my heart and has a place of honor in my heart for uh, the quality of its pigment, the quality of the granulation, the story behind each color. And uh, I invite you to check out his website. That's all for now. Thank Thanks a lot for having joined me in this video. And uh, I'm waiting for your comment. You know that I love to chat. I would love to let me know what is your experience with handmade watercolors, if you have tried the La Magna, if you're curious and what is your favorite handmade watercolor. And uh, I just would like to know anything you like to say about this video. So ciao ciao for now and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, so far. And thank you. Ciao ciao from Elisabetta. Ciao.